Hello there. Welcome to Sean Academy. Today in this video we're going to learn how to start an auctioneering business. My name is Sarah and I will be your instructor in this video. Before we start an auctioneering business, let's take a closer look at what goes into starting one and how we can make yours profitable. An auction house business allows consignors to sell their unwanted goods or merchandise to the highest bidder, with the house earning a percentage of the proceeds. If you're an auctioneer, you might consider starting your own business. If not, you'll need to hire a professional auctioneer to conduct your auctions. Step 1. Obtain all necessary licenses and insurance. Auction house licensing varies from state to state. You may be required to have a business license, an auctioneer's license, and a real estate license if you are selling real estate. If you're selling firearms, you might need a federal firearms license to do so. Find out what you'll need from your Secretary of State's office. Inquire with an insurance agent about your coverage requirements. Auction houses are generally required to have insurance that protects consignors' property as well as liability insurance to protect patrons while on the premises. Step 2. Determine the best location. Renting warehouse space is a cost-effective way for an auction house to secure space. The amount of space you'll require is determined by the size of your operation and the type of consigned goods you'll need to store in your facility. The space should have access points for loading and unloading merchandise, wide aisles for buyers, and gallery space where auction attendees can sit or stand during the auction. Look for a location with plenty of parking for passenger vehicles, delivery trucks, and trailers. Step 3. Open a store. Purchase a dependable sound system or PA system with speakers and an auctioneer's microphone or headphone mic purchase a clerking desk with storage for bidder cards and tickets. Set up a registration area, distribute bid cards, and a cashier's stand for checking out customers and accepting payment at the end of the auction. To make the process go more smoothly, you could use a credit card reader. Display tables, computers, moving materials, and equipment may also be required. Step 4. Gather inventory and launch your first auction. Consignors typically supply auction house inventory. If you don't have any consignors lined up, consider stocking your first few auctions with merchandise from a business liquidation or closeout. Determine how you will carry out your action. Absolute auctions begin with zero bids, with the highest bidder winning the item regardless of how high the price rises. Reserve auctions allow the consigner or auctioneer to establish a minimum price, also known as a reserve, based on the lowest amount the seller is willing to accept for the item. Step 5. Market your company. Develop a website and post an online catalog of upcoming auction items, including pictures and descriptions, to promote auction items. Advertise in auction-specific publications and on auction-specific websites. Maintain a list of consignors and bidders and send out regular updates via email or hard copy mailers to keep buyers informed of upcoming events. Join industry associations or collector organizations if you specialize in a specific type of merchandise, such as farm equipment, antiques, or coins, to network and solicit new customers. If you found this video useful, please show your appreciation by clicking the like button. Also, let us know in the comments if you'd like us to make a long, comprehensive follow-up video to learn more about how to start an auctioneering business. Also, don't forget to click the subscribe button to see more videos from Sean Academy. An extension for education.